Hi everybody, welcome to Haven on Earth. I hope you're having an awesome new year. My name is Lisa and along with my husband Jason, we've been building our homestead over the past four months. This week we actually had a big week. We had compost delivered, we finished the beds for the raised garden bed, um, we had some gravel delivered, Jason got a wood splitter and a great deal on some wood to start selling firewood. I just wanted to take you along with me while I kind of process the whole week and look forward to the next. We have a surprise for next week and it might just be our biggest week yet. This week we finished the raised garden bed and we used two by six by tens and we made 10, 10 foot by five foot beds. And I started putting my cardboard down. I have to finish the rest of the beds and then I'm using landscape material in the walkways um, because I've used cardboard before and it just keeps allowing the weeds in. And then I also ran the landscape fabric underneath all of the boards because that's where I've had the most issues with weeds. So this is still a work in progress, but then I also had the bunnies helping me to fertilize my new beds. The bunnies are having playtime while I clean out their pen. And they're prepping my garden beds at the same time. I still have to come up with some names for them. Then yesterday we had compost delivered and it's absolutely gorgeous compost. looks nice and dark oh my god it looks so good I was so worried Yay! look at that it's seven tons and I'm paying 175 and again I couldn't get soil or compost anywhere it looks amazing when we lived in Abilene, I was able to find a source of cotton burr compost from a local garden center, and that stuff was amazing. When we came here, I was able to find this guy who was selling compost, but I thought it might be topsoil or it might be dried out. So I was really nervous because I kind of financially only had one shot to uh, get good compost. So I asked him to send me a picture of it before he came out, and he did, and it's actually gorgeous. It's a really dark, dark brown material, and he said that it's gathered from local farms and from their horse manure. And I don't know if it's gonna pick up, but it's really dark brown. I mean, almost black. Almost like the um, cow manure that you find in the bags at Home Depot or Lowe's and how black it is. That's almost how dark this is. Beautiful. And this week I started collecting horse manure from my mom's horses. We're delivering buckets back and forth. And then I have the rabbit clean out from this past week. So I'm getting started on my composting system. Although I don't really have a system. I'm gathering my composting materials for my future composting system. And that's something that I have to work on for this week. My boys are loving something new. These babies know I love the garden. And as I cross the creek, there's something to the right of me that's super awesome and super amazing. But that's gonna be a whole separate video. And as I walk over the creek, there's something very exciting to my right. But that's gonna be a whole different video. And it's super amazing and awesome. My goatee girls are soaking up the sun. They said it was supposed to be cloudy and drizzly and dreary, and it's a gorgeous day, and so was yesterday. And these little girls are eating the hay out of the chicken coop where I had tried to keep the chickens warm in the freeze. 
Now they're enjoying it. We also got a gate to finish the perimeter fence, but we're not installing it permanently yet because we may have to take it out for the shed to house or tiny house to be delivered. And then we also got a couple loads of gravel, but we're nowhere near close to being finished. And here's another load that we had delivered. There's different sizes you can get. And some of it's big, and then some of it's called like a crusher base. So to fill in these mud tracks, we went with different sizes to accomplish different tasks or different goals. Some of it is to fill in the mud and some of it is to compact and make it hard. And there's some cap blocks for the tiny house to sit on. And then yesterday, Jason scored a truckload of hickory wood from a neighbor down the street for 60 bucks. And Jason literally just drove up with his log splitter. So with his log splitter, he's going to be able to split all these pieces of wood and start selling firewood. And he did that in Fort Worth. In Fort Worth, Jason actually worked for this guy and he would help him by splitting wood and then he would get some of the wood and we would turn around and sell it. This is actually his first wood splitter. It's awesome. Short work of them things, don't it? Yeah. I thought it was gonna be like a really fast, hard motion, like really dangerous. Wasn't that guy in Fort Worth wasn't his straight or was it just like that? That's fantastic. It's smooth. That was one log. Oh, I didn't finish it. Still more over here. It's good. Give me something to do. And it's a gorgeous day. Yeah, I got my coat. Hi guys, I just wanted to say thank you for watching. I am back in my car because I um, came to town to upload this video and also because the facts of living in a camper are there are not much space and um, Jason was up most of the night last night so he's taking a nap. So. I just wanted to remind you to tune in for next week. We already have a big surprise. And then it might just be our biggest week yet. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have an awesome day.